you again, as always, huh? As always. Good to see you. So, yeah, last night killed it, man. It was, it was fabulous. Oh, thank you. The show was great. I have not had a chance to hear Kurt's uh, live war on record, and I always wanted to get down to see him anyway. I'm glad I did, but the ensemble was killing it. Oh, man. It's a really good group. Great group. Great group. How long have you played with those guys, guys? Uh, two years now. Man, it was, the show was fabulous. Hey, check this uh, out. Holy crap. That's the kid in all its glory. Yes, sir. <laughs> Which I just did uh, an audio video sound file on okay. yesterday. But, uh, wow. This is. There it is. In all its glory. It's killing, man. It's killing. This is insane. It's insane, man. You know? Holy crap. It's a replica of the kid we made for you. Right. Same thing. Except we just don't have the baritone snare on this one. Right, right, right. But, uh, that's yeah, killing. The baritone snare on your kid sounds incredible. Man. You know something? I, at first, I had some trouble tuning it because there was like that, that overtone because it is a tom size. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was incredible because I, I spoke to some of my friends, some of my R&B friends. Uh, Dave and another drummer named Steve McKee, and they gave me some tuning techniques, and they also gave me some head combinations mm -hmm. that I could use. But I mean, I didn't even get a chance to go to guitars and our come here to get some head. To yeah, no, it sounds fabulous. Sounds it, fabulous. It worked out so well. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. And the placement over there in the normal floor time spot, it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> when you get the 14 behind it, you, yep. you get them both at once. It's very cool. Yep. Yeah. Yep.
This is a monstrosity. You know, and it's got it's got a combination of if you think back, it's kind of got a Krupa vibe going, and if you right. think back, it sounds a lot like the the same sound Ginger Baker got out of his old Ludwig kit. <laughs>